today I'll be talking about uh, <laughs> the infamous so-called group committee of friends. Um, okay, that has been the trend for a while, most especially here in Houston, like I said, and um, I definitely know other cities are imbibing that um, horrible culture. Now, if you do not have money to throw yourself a party, don't drag people into your mess because at the end of the day, it is a mess. Committee of friends, I mean, why would you put together a committee of friends and have them contribute $100 per person or $250 per person and you still make them buy Asher B and everything? And at the end of the day, it's just one big rowdy mess. At the, really and truly, at the end of the day, it's a big rowdy mess. So if you do not have money, to do your party don't do committee of friends for nothing okay because really and truly at the end of the day these people talk shit about you they grumble they talk and they are the same people that pay to do this committee of friends and at the end of the day they come behind your back and talk so please 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 and please if you do not have money to do your party don't do your party or you cut your coat according to your size i mean you don't have to have an elaborate party when you cannot afford it you know and now i'm even hearing people are doing committee of friends when their children graduate from secondary school or when they are doing um weight keeping or when they are even doing um their child's one year old birthday or baby dedication i mean it it, it, it doesn't make any sense committee of friends really are these people really your friends? Are they truly your friends? Really? Are they truly your friends? How many times have you spoken to them? Or how many times have they picked up the phone to call you? And let's take a look at it. Um, let's assume those of you so-called committee of friends, when you don't have money to pay up your bills or something, can you run to these people and really rely on them when there is no party involved? Think about it. You don't belong to these committee of friends, okay? It's just a waste of money and... Once again, let's look at it. Um, how many committee of friends will you have done this year, 2014? And what has been your benefit at the end of the day? Nothing. And when it's your turn, they are not there for you. They are never there for you. So look for friends that are true friends, those that will actually stand by you. Those that will be proud to call you their friends, not those that are just referring to you as their friends because they have one party or the other. So think about it and um, choose where you want to belong to, regular invited guest or committee of friends, okay? Um, we'll talk again some other time. Bye.